Hi, we're, we're the, the Art Apes. Apes, and we're on a mission to help you take your art further, faster, by giving you information and understanding of advanced art theory and how to apply it to your art today. Today's video, we're going to cover some perspective topics and give some basic terminology so we're on the same page. All right, let's swing right into it. Now, perspective. It's one of the most important parts of any picture. Even people who don't study art can tell when perspective's wrong. How many times have you seen novice artists produce barns that are three feet tall and people and trees the same height in the same picture? Many novice artists have been taught perspective by being sat in a hallway with a large ruler and a large sketchbook. Sometimes the students is taught the basics of one and two point perspective and vanishing points and leading lines. And that's it. As valuable information as this is, it only scratches the surface of perspective. When all is said and done, that poor art student, well, he's utterly hopeless at drawing from memory, but can draw Hallways, perfectly. Now, in this series of videos, we will not only explore some of the basic concepts of perspective, but move on to some more advanced theories and tackle some common mistakes that can be found when learning perspective. You still with me? I know that's a lot of perspective talk. Now, the first one is horizon. Isn't it beautiful? No, not that one. What we're going to be talking about is the artistic horizon. So your non-artist friends may hear you complain about that horizon and may think you're talking about where the earth meets the sky. Hey, wait a minute. We all know that artists don't have friends. <laughs> <laughs> now, the horizon you're complaining about is the artistic horizon. Not the one where the earth meets the sky. It's simply an arbitrary line where your eye level is. So say if you're approaching the scene from a sitting position, the horizon will be slightly lower than if the same scene was approached from a standing position. But, I hear you ask, what point do these objects recede to on the horizon? And thank you for that question, you handsome hominid. That would be the vanishing point. Now, talking about vanishing points, there's a few different types. So at first we're going to talk about the principal vanishing point. Now, if you were to take a yardstick or a pipe and look straight down, to a spot on that horizon, that spot looking straight down would be your principal vanishing point. To summarize, the principal vanishing point is the spot on the horizon that a level line runs directly away from you leads to. So it goes wherever you are and you're looking at the horizon, it is the point on the horizon that a level lines runs directly away from you. And it's that point where that line hits the horizon. Exactly. Next concept is the station point and line of sight. Don't be intimidated by these two technical terms. Both concepts are incredibly simple. So simple, I got them. Now, where you're sitting, relaxing, drinking mojitos, or standing, drinking mojitos, <laughs> is the station point. You're stationary, not moving. Think of it that way. You're stationary at this point. Now, the line of sight is simply the length of distance between your station point, you relaxing with the mojitos, and your subject. That's it. Number four. Yeah, yeah, 16. 16. Okay. 
vanishing point. But we already talked about a vanishing point, didn't we? Yes, we talked about a primary. Now here are some other vanishing points. Now, we know that lines receding in nature straight from our face are parallel with your line of sight. And as we remember, I don't have to remind you that parallel is by side of run directly to the principal vanishing point. As you may have noticed, not every line runs straight away from you. So each line that doesn't run parallel with your line of sight has a vanishing point on the horizon. So far, talking vanishing points and the horizon, we have been doing so only re in relationship to level planes. Eh, parking lots, football fields, flat roads, American football, I'm looking at you British. <laughs> Vanishing points can also be above or below the horizon, but we will go in much greater depth in later videos. An important thing to remember is that sometimes vanishing points, really important ones, can live outside the space of your canvas, your drawing pad, or whatever you're making art on. These concepts barely scratch the surface on perspective, but are all fundamental to its understanding. Over the next series of episodes, within this series of videos, we will go into more in-depth study on this fascinating subject. Thanking you... <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. If you like what you see, be sure to press or gently caress that like button. <laughs> if you want to keep up to date on all Art Aid content, subscribe and enable notifications. Now go get to making art, you handsome hominids. Woohoo!